Hi folks. Yeah, Monday. Usual Monday video. So today is maybe a bit bit more boring. It's nothing uh, paranormal or anything like that today. Ooh. So because there's nothing paranormal, we're back to the good old Reaper, the little creeper. Yeah, I'll grab another one. Blow it. So, yeah, today is a little bit like it used to be on a Monday. Looking at the odd bits and bobs and tat that I come up with. So, now normally, t shirts I'll buy black black t-shirts sometimes I buy a black t-shirt with some sort of picture on it or words but I saw this today I've got to look it up because sometimes I buy a t-shirt not sure what the hell it is I like the look of it not sure what the hell it is so I have to go online and say to people What's this? Just in case I'm wearing something that's totally freaking not it's out of the ballpark as far as golf goes, which would be pretty bloody uh, disastrous, wouldn't it? Two ninety nine, so two ninety nine is not going to break the bank of Monte Carlo, is it? But I saw it and I quite like it. I don't think it belongs to any other thing me jig. It looks a cross between a tie dye, which it isn't, it's got swirls and that on it, and whatever. I could do a picture close up, but I can't be asked. There you go. It's got a skull with a native's uh, headdress on. And underneath that, there's a a bike. Well, you won't see much of that bike because that'll go into the top of the kilt. Um, is the back the same? Back is exactly the same. It's it's of good quality. It's nice and thick for the price. I don't mind a bit of white in it. He says a bit bloody hell that looks pretty bloody big because I normally take an XL sometimes a large uh, this depends what bloody country it comes from because that t-shirt I wear with the um, the Viking and sword on on the front that's a large and that is flipping ideal for me so hopefully this is a large and it's ideal for me if it isn't, I will make it bloody ideal for me. But, yeah, I might <laughs> I might have to do what I normally do with some t-shirts, is put it on, no arms in, put the arms inside, and I go, and I stretch the bloody thing. So if anybody ever has a t-shirt that is a little bit small for you, what do you think? Like me, I've not the shape I used to be. If you don't want that shape, then, which you said, that's bloody to it. Just put your arms in the t-shirt while you got it on and just press out like that with your arms. And it might make it a little shorter, but it makes it a bit wider. And anyway, the other good thing is those sleeves will come off. And that'll get rid of a bit more white. But anyway, we shall do that and see what it comes out like. And I might put it on and think, what the frickin' hell am I doing? Because that looks a lot of bloody white to me. Anyway, so I bought that today. 
three pound. Uh. And when I was in usual shop ago, and it's one that they keep its back for me. They didn't keep this back for me, but I was looking around where they usually had the bits and bobs, and in a little box where they had uh, tools, found this. And it is a. Uh, I'll get it the right bloody way up. I was going to show you the wrong way. Goes on a belt. Look at the sort. Look at the thickness of that flipping lever. When you buy anything flipping lever, cuffs or anything, it's never good strong stuff. That's good strong stuff. Fits on a belt, and for all intents and purpose, it's to put a couple of tools in. Well, I'm going to have to decide if I've got anything that. I can stick this on my belt and I can put it in there which will look pretty neat. The UK I can't stick a knife or anything like that in and sort of go hey look, how cool is that because they'll probably bloody frog march me down the road. Uh, there's loads of rules and regulations as to what you can have. The bad boys bloody carry stuff and causing havoc at the moment but legally you can't carry any of this stuff and I think they're going to come out with some stop and search laws because they did knock it on the head but now they realise they need it and I don't mind they can bloody stop and search me all they like as long as it finds the buggers that shouldn't have the stuff so I shall find something I did put some of it here. Yep. If I could find a couple of things about that size, silver, and throw them away. This is a felt tip pen. If I could find a couple of tainers, containers or something, that will just fit in. So I could fit two. Or um, something else might come to mind. But Something's going to go in there, and with these little bits here that I suppose you could hang some of it on as well. Fantastic for chains. So I might have two big chains on there which will come round and onto the belt as well. So I don't know, you know me, I'll come up with some of it. Needs doctoring up a little bit. Some of the blacks turn a little bit brown. It's just the coating's gone, but polish will bring that up so yeah that will go on the belt somewhere woohoo and could put a skull or something on here a silver skull I need a freaking drill to go through that though so yeah I've got that today <coughs> only a couple of bits but I thought I'd come online and do these couple of bits I'll do this bit in a minute. I'll do this bit first. This is a little bit of DIY. Um, it's a silly thing, really. Um, could have looked round for black, but white, which probably be better for me in there. This really is for anyone that. You use uh, an iPad, something like that. Now, like me, if you do a lot of cooking, you might have a, a thing on here that has recipes. You might just want it up so you can uh, finish watching whatever you was watching while you're cooking. You might have it in a different room. A great idea for these is, you buy these things and quickly they're gone. They come in, gone, you're having to keep updating all the time otherwise the older ones just don't work as well. This luckily is flipping up to date. But once you another or two more of these in front and you're thinking what the hell am I going to do with these? These make Bloody excellent uh, 
photograph frames for the wall so you can add photographs and you can set it off and it will sit up there sending photographs around if you get the Halloween ones I've got the one of the the pretty beautiful woman that's sitting there portrait slowly turning old and she's ah at you well I took the rah out to, I thought it's a bit naff but she gets old and then she suddenly turns young again and she gets old sits up there in a proper photo frame but these like I said once they're going down the line a bit shunted out don't sling them don't sort of say oh I'll just go and take it somewhere and sell it for bloody five pounds or so um, keep them even if it's uh, some of the very old models they still work for photographs you can still put films on there and playback films or whatever so this is a little tip if you do want to use it somewhere start with in a kitchen you can have a book stand and you can just put it on a book stand and read it as you cook it uh, you can have a an iPad stand <laughs> like that but if it would be a bit different you can do what I'm going to do and I will put pictures up <laughs> and I bought some of these hang ups and these are there's the largest size and smaller size and I thought for this one that pad's not very big so I get the smaller size and it's these um, little ups you take the back off stick it there and it you can put cups or whatever you want on it I don't know what they've got it as it can do that if you're putting it on tiles or somewhere it's a good idea maybe to take the back off a little bit of glue as well stick it on there because you can get it off eventually I wouldn't glue it somewhere where you really want to get it off somewhere along the line anyway what you do is you put two of these there and mine's going on the cupboard door in the kitchen which is like that so two of these measure <laughs> so you don't do that it drops out the bloody middle measure two of those and then turn one upside down so it's that way up so two that way up one that way up or two that way up so you can add two and one or you can add two and two up to you but sort of do a bit of measuring so you get that right there to that right there and then you'll see by the pictures once you got them up you can just slide that in the two bottom ones will hold it the one at the top of the two will stop it drop it forward and you got it any height you want so you can do that in your bedroom even if you in your bathroom if you lay back in the bath looking at something whatever but I thought I'd show that as a little tip if you want to just put it up on the wall right <clears throat> the last bit I actually took it out of the box <coughs> I didn't go out for this not something I particularly go out looking for but it was in the shop open and it is a goldy colour rather than silver and I'm more to the silvery colour than the gold Um, it's a key ring it's pretty heavy um, either a key ring or you can just 
put it onto a belt, they could throw it in an handbag if you're a woman, whatever. We wasn't sure what it was. It was in a cabinet. I said, what the heck is that? It was like that. It took me and the bloke ages to open that top. Now I said to him, a woman would have come along and just gone like that, innit? <laughs> but we're men. So we was putting a nail in there and we was going, oh, it really, it's bloody hard to get up. So we thought, men, how our brains work, don't freaking do that because we're going to break it off or something. I think a woman would have come and uh, give us that here. Look, freaking do that, look. And I must admit, that is bloody... You need muscles to freaking move that. And what it is inside, it's a little compass. What's unique about this and why did I buy it? Nothing at all to do with goth. Um, I got a, con a contact in for reading today, which seemed, tested them out, and this seems to be pretty naff. So it's a lot better if I put the glasses on with it. And if I look at this, it says, uh, just open, just open the cover, which is bloody easier said than done and find your way home. So you think, hmm, maybe compass in there, find your way home. On the front here, um, round there, because this is the top of this, and there it says Jerusalem, and then it's in probably Jewish, something there, I suppose, whatever the language is. And on the back there's a little poem which I'm not going to freaking read. Anyway, so we're trying to figure out what it was and why. And yeah, it's a little compass and it, it's this little bit at the side, if you have it one way it, it jams the needle, stays where you jam it. You turn it the other way, the needle starts swinging. Now this is where the funny bit came in. So I was in the shop, and I was looking at it, and I was going, no, if it's up that bloody way, why is it down there over a little bit to the west? So it was, it was say off, sort of west, if you bet. So I said, you can buy it then. No. Why, the, why would it buy it? North's up there, it's bloody pointing somewhere else. And then I looked at it and I thought, underneath, underneath, in the centre, underneath that, if you look carefully, there's a Star of David. Then I thought to myself, find your way home. That, I don't know how the hell they've done it, I really don't know how the hell they've done it, but wherever you go, that points to Jerusalem. So, doesn't matter where you go, that points. How the hell they've done that, I don't know, because don't these normally point north or south, south to north? How the hell are they getting it to do that? So, I think, I don't think it does anything else unless you have to sort of literally, you can turn something, so maybe although it's pointing there, you have to work out where north is from that, I don't know. But, it's got loads of rigmarole there. And, so, if nothing else, it's a lovely little trinket that if you're Jewish, especially, you can look at that, and, in, and if you're living somewhere else, that points to Jerusalem. And if you're not Jewish, if you're Christian, 
there's still a connection to it pointing towards Jerusalem. So, yeah. I thought I'd show that. I bought it. Um, and I thought, if I, I've got Jewish friends and that, and it would mean more to them. If it's a woman, it's gonna, that is freaking. So yeah, I thought I'd show you that. It's it's really flipping novel. Never seen anything like that before. And if anybody can tell me how to get that to point to, to Jerusalem, wherever you go, and not north, beyond me, I thought I was pretty freaking intelligent, but beginning to think now. Anyway, that's one of the two bits I bought today. Music that I'm listening to stuff that I'm drinking and um, I will be doing other probably more exciting videos and I think I'm good I'm gonna do a video where I'll do some call outs for friends and such that have got uh, YouTube channels that are pretty low in numbers that need a bit of a boost so Keep an eye out for that one because uh, they deserve to go up a little bit. So yeah, keep your eye out. Bottoms up. Have a good week because, like I said, it is Monday. So if somebody watches this in bloody months to come and it's on a Friday, don't bloody blame me. You're looking at it on the wrong day. Catch you later.